Hey guys, I am back. And I basically just wanted to come back and finish up with um, part three of a new thing. I talked about um, God doing a new thing. And the subtopic was just knowing that God has already forgiven us for our sins. Then I came back with a part two. It was also slash a morning inspiration. And the part two subtitle was um, just walking in faith and believing in God that he will do that new thing. And so I just want to finish up with the part three from a new thing and just say or simply say, make a move. Just make a move. God wants us not only to believe while we're walking in this faith, but walking in this faith. It's kind of like a part two. There are several different ways you can walk in the faith. Yes, walking in the faith means you are believing in God's word. But when you actually walk in, that means you are moving, that you are doing things. Sometimes we look at um, walking faith is just like the scripture. We walk by faith and not by sight. Walking in faith sometimes to some people may mean, okay, as I'm on this journey, I am simply believing in God, but we got to do more than just believe. Now it's time to make a move, make a move in God. So you you know that you are forgiven for your uh, transgressions. You know that it is time to uh, believe in God and walk in faith, but you have to do a little bit more than just believe. Now, after you really got that faith down now it's actually time to walk in it to make the move so make a move make a move in god uh utilizing your faith for example um if you have been wanting to uh move and you don't feel that god is uh hindering you you feel like you know that it's in his permissive will and you feel like Okay, it is time for me to do something. Well, make a move. Go out and look for the house. Go out and research. Research online. Um, do what you need to do to, to find more information about it. That All of that entails, um, that's research. That's um, being observant. That's being ready and willing to move. You may just do the research and you're still sitting waiting on God to say, go, you know, like ready, set, go. So you just got to be ready when he, he gives that green light. And if you're praying about something and you haven't heard a specific answer from him, it could mean you're still in his permissive will. So you still got to make a move. And if you have truly been walking with God and you are, are truly just seeking him and when you try to make that move and if it's not meant to be and if it's not in God's will, then he won't allow it to happen anyway. So you'll still be in his will. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay, so my topic is make a move. Get out. If you are looking for a job and you are praying and having faith, well, when are you going to apply for the job? You got to make a move. When are you going to follow up? When are you going to going to just be um go out and and buy you an outfit for the interview? Make a move. You got to do something. Walk in faith and and take a two extra steps because you have to actually make a move. A lot of people like I said, when you're walking in faith, they think it only means you're just believing that it's going to happen and that it can take place. Well, sometimes God is waiting on us to just make the move. You know, we're the ones sitting around letting it pass us by. So make the move. If you apply, go get you an outfit for your interview. If you uh, want to move, then start researching for the houses. Start looking. Start asking for a tour. Start doing something about it. Don't just sit at home waiting, waiting on it to drop in your lap. Make a move. Hey man, well, you got to make a move. That is that that is definitely the part three that you need to hear. It is time to make a move. If you want to be on the dance team at your church, if you want to be an usher, while you're waiting on the pastor 
or um, the first lady to say, yes, my sister, yes, my brother, you can be an usher. Go stand up there by the door. Go Let us see that you are making a move in church. Let us see that you are taking on the initiative in church. Let us see you um, doing what ushers do. You may uh, take someone some tissue if you see them uh, weeping in the Lord or for the Lord. You may... Uh, Direct them to where the restroom is. Sit in a location where you can be observant in the church and you can see things going on and see where you can be of help or of assistance. And when they see that you're doing that, uh, then you and then you can ask, you can uh, inquire about it, you know, definitely inquire about it. And then, hey, you never know. We're, we're, people are waiting on you to make the move. Just make a move. And don't waver in it. You know, don't don't just sit by the wayside waiting on it to be dropped to you. A lot of times, a lot of people don't even know that you're interested in something because you're just sitting in a chair believing, believing, but you're not moving. You're not making a move. You're not doing anything. You say that you're walking in faith, but walking in faith, the initial step of walking in faith simply means that you are believing. Now, you can believe and not move. So that's the, I hate to say the baby part, the baby step of walking in faith is just believing and just sitting there, but you got to move. You got to, you got to get past just the walking in faith. It's time to go beyond the walking in faith and make it, make a move. If, like I said, if you want to do something in the church, start doing, start practicing. If you want to be on a dance team, start practicing some songs, some worship songs, some praise songs, some, uh, some, you know, uh, songs of ministry that you can minister to the people. Start praying to God and ask, ask him to give you songs that will minister to his people. Start practicing at home. Start asking the pastor if you can come to church and practice on a song. Yes, they see that you're growing. Of course they will let you do that. We got to make a move, people. You know, you want to interview, go buy your outfit. Go buy your a suit or a nice pantsuit or a dress or, you know, practice. Watch some videos, you know, on how to, um, you know, the the lingo, how to speak the lingo. You know, just do some things. Make a move. Make a move. That That is what... I want to get through or convey to you on today. Make a move. You know that God has forgiven you. You know that you are now believing in him and walking in your faith on a daily basis. Now it is time to go beyond that and actually make a move. Do some research. Get on that laptop and pull up some things. Research what you want to know. Get on YouTube and look at some dance um, worship and, and praise dances, you know, uh, that many people have those on YouTube. Make a move. Okay. Make a move. Just make a move. That's all I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Make a move. Get up and do. Get up and go. Get up and say. Get up and, and be about it. You know, we used to have a saying a uh, long <laughs> time ago. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. Okay. And that went a long ways. It could mean a lot of things. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. So get up and make a move today. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.